Hi everyone, Miss Brenda here, and I'm here today to share a story with you for the Halifax County Library. They invited me to read a story by their next author that they're showcasing, and the author's name is Adam Rubin. And Adam is a big fan of pizza, and so am I. So that's why I chose Secret Pizza Party to read to you today. And I invited my special guest, Raccoon, to share story time with us because he loved story time, especially stories about himself. So let's find out what happens to Raccoon at the Secret Pizza Party. You ready? I think he's ready. Poor Raccoon, all he wants in life is some pizza. And there he is, standing outside of the pizza parlor, looking in, just wanting to eat some pizza. If only he knew how to ask politely, he decided to take it out of the trash can himself. And the pizza owner did not like that at all. And he chased him away with a broom. Yeah. He says, ah, oh, pizza, so beautiful. You could hang it on the wall of a museum and so convenient, you can eat it in the bathtub. You don't even have to have a fork or a plate. You can just eat it in the bathtub with your hands. Oh, cool, Raccoon, you're so funny. Of course, the best part about pizza is the gooey cheesiness, salty pepperoniness, sweet, sweet tomatoness, and crispity, crunchity crust. Yum, he says in his tummy. Sorry, Raccoon, I didn't mean to rub it in. Cheer up, I just had a great idea. Let's throw a pizza party at your house tonight. Shh, don't tell anyone, it'll be a secret. A secret pizza party? Raccoon, it's gonna be exciting. I know what you're thinking. Why would we keep such a delicious, delicious party a secret? Okay, sure. It's so folks don't show up to bonk you with the broom. But that's not the only reason. When you make something secret, you make it special. Like a regular handshake? That's boring. See the regular handshake? But a secret handshake is booyah! Regular staircase? Tiring. But a secret staircase behind a library wall? Terrific. It's much more fun if it's secret right here. Regular pizza party? Get that raccoon off the table. That's what a regular pizza party would look like. But a secret pizza party would get the raccoon another slice of pizza because he's the guest of honor. He would like that. Hot diggity dog, our pizza party is going to be so much fun. Call the pizza man and tell him to bring over his absolute finest pizza pie. Hang on a minute. You don't want the delivery guy to know where you live. He might recognize you from the posters and chase you off with a broom because he's on a wanted poster. Wanted for pizza theft. Oh no. If you, if you turn him in, you get a free pizza, but let's talk. He's just trying to have some pizza. Think, Raccoon. Think. Think. Let's see. He is thinking hard, isn't he? I think he's got an idea. Look what he did. That was very clever, Raccoon. He dressed up like a man. Okay, now play it cool. You're just an honest pizza-buying citizen who left his wallet in the car. The pizza man thinks you'll be right back. But is he going to be back? Let's see. Oh no, he's running. Let's go. I've planned the perfect getaway route. I go around the broom factory where they make the brooms, over the broom enthusiast club. These are people that like brooms and like to chase the raccoon with the brooms. Past the raccoon sniffing broom bots. Wait a second. They have raccoon sniffing broom bots? Uh-oh. You didn't think that one through, did you, raccoon? Let's find out if you made it safe. Oh no, look. Run, raccoon, run, run like the wind. Look at his face. Oh my goodness, he's so scared that they're throwing brooms at him. Shoo, shoo. We made it. 
Let's barricade the doors and pop open that pizza box. Mmm. Secret pizza party. Secret pizza party. <gasps> I said that kind of loud. Sorry. Pizza smell gives me the happy screams. He even keeps a diary of times that he ate the pizza. And look at all the pizza pictures and a pizza bedspread. He does love And a pizza lamp. He loves pizza. Try not to crunch too loud. Definitely no high-fiving or music or dancing. In fact, we better turn off the lights and whisper just to be safe. Can you whisper with me? Secret pizza party. Good job. Uh-oh. What's the matter? What could it be? Let's see. Sweet sassy molassy. Look at all that pizza he heard. To look. <gasps> Clearly, these people are much better at throwing parties than they are at keeping secrets. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What do you think, raccoon? What do you think he's going to do? All the pizza and all these people. And what do they have on? I don't know if you can see it very well. They all have on mask kind of like the one that raccoon looks like he's wearing except his is natural that's the way he was born with the mask like that but these people have one they put on over their faces to hide their appearance so that no one will recognize them okay so here he goes <laughs> he makes his own mask like theirs with a, on a stick okay you're in just play it cool no one suspects a thing do you think they're going to realize it's the raccoon Let's find out. He runs across the table. He's eating everything. And look. Uh-oh. I think they figured it out. What does he need to do? Oh, you see the lady? Do you see her? What does she have? She's got a broom. What do you think he needs to do? Run, raccoon, run. Secret pizza party. He got all the pizza he wanted. The end. Oh, and there's the picture of the wanted. I'm sorry, raccoon. I know you love pizza, and you should have all the pizza that you want. You just have to learn how to have your secret pizza party in your own house. Thank you all for sharing our story with us today. Raccoon says thank you. I say thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.